Hey, Rika, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing good, Lila, thank you. I'm glad to see your new cubs are doing well. Yeah, they were born not that long ago. Well, I was thinking since Makoa and I are mates now and Mumble switched bedding areas with Makoa, so we made our spot bigger. How about you take our spot now that you have cubs? You need this extra room. Oh yes, that would be very amazing, thank you. Of course, Rika. Would you like some help moving the cubs? Yes, that would also be nice. Thank you guys for this den. This is way more spacious. I really needed it. Of course, Rika. You need it more than we do. Oh my gosh! The cubs are born! Can I see? Yes, Naomi. Come in. Oh my gosh. They're so adorable, Rika. Whoa! Cubs! They're finally here. So what are they? I've got one boy and two girls. Whoa, is that a black leopard? I've never seen one before. They must be really rare. Yeah, sometimes they can be black. It's not very common. And I've never seen a white lion before. You're pretty rare too. Wow, we've got a black leopard, a white lion, and a king cheetah in our pride. We're a very rare pride. Yeah, we're amazing. What are their names? I haven't decided on any names yet. I'm not sure. Well, maybe we should give some space to Rika now. Yeah, we should let her bond with her cubs. So, Lila, this place is not going to be big enough for both of us. We need to do something about it. Yeah, I agree. I'll move these sticks over here. And we can open up this space right here. And there we go. That should be big enough. Let's see if we can both lay down. I'd say it's big enough. Yeah. Hey, guys. Rika's worried about her cubs. What? What happened? She said they're looking sickly. Oh, no. Toy Mini has a new release of this six-piece White Lion family playset, and it's very new, so they wanted to share it with me and you guys and give you guys a little discount. So if you use this coupon code that's on the bottom of the screen right now at checkout, you will get a 20% off discount on your order, but the discount only works for this specific White Lion playset. You guys get this 20% off deal all the way up until October 31st. October 31st is the last day. So if your parents are looking for a Christmas present for you, they can get it at a discount right now. Or if you have any birthdays coming up, or if you just want another playset right now, go ahead and get it while you can at a discount. And you're not only supporting Toy Many and getting a discount, you're also supporting me and my channel because I also get 20% of the proceeds from what you guys purchase. So if you want this epic white lion playset and you want it at a discount and you want to support me and my channel, go ahead and use the code at checkout and yeah, enjoy your new playset, guys. Lila, Makawa, do either of you know medicine? My cubs are falling ill. Um, no, I'm so sorry. I don't know anything. Neither do I. Surprisingly, the runt here seems to be doing the best. This one is getting awfully sick. My poor baby. I really hope they didn't catch a disease from one of us. Hopefully this isn't why cats don't mix. No, I don't think they've got diseases from you guys. I think if diseases easily spread between different cats that we would have already been sick and would have known. I really don't know how to help. I hope they get better. How about you come eat some more, Rika? Get nice and strong and produce a lot of milk for them. I don't want to leave them. I'll go see if I can get some small prey for you. I'll go too! Do you feel sick, Rika? Cubs rely on the health of the mother. I feel fine. There's a little chill in the air. Maybe they caught a cold. They were born in the middle of the night. Hey, we're back. We found some rabbits. Oh good, let me give them to Rika. 
Here, Rika, eat up. Be nice and strong for them. Thank you, guys. Speaking of eating, we need some food for us. Naomi, Lila, how about you two stay here with Rika and help protect her? And Makoa, Mumble, how about the three of us go out and hunt? Okay, what will we catch? We can try to take a zebra. Okay, let's go. Hey ladies, we're back. This was a great catch. Hey guys, let's not disturb Rika. One of her cubs has passed away. What? In only a couple of hours? Yeah, she wants to be alone right now. Oh no, poor little baby. Hey, guys. I think it's time that I let go and I bury my little one. I'm so sorry, Rika. We're all here for you. Thank you. Will someone keep my other two warm while I go bury my third? Yes, I'll go help warm them. Do you want help, Rika? No, I'd like to do it alone and say goodbye. I love you, my baby. I'm back, Naomi. These two seem okay. They're getting sick, too. My first cub's dying of disease. I should have known. I should have never been a mother. No, Rika, don't say that. It's not your fault. This is so sad. I feel so bad for her. I hope the rest get better. Hey, do you guys smell that? Yeah. Hey, it's a lion! What are you doing in our territory? Hey, you're from that group of lions that kept attacking us. What are you doing in our territory? Haven't you learned you're not welcome here? How about you get lost? Hey, uh, wait, wait. I, I come in peace, I swear. I, I just want to talk. I swear, I'm peaceful. What do you have to say to us? Yeah, your little pride tried to hurt my family. But if you remember correctly, I never engaged in any of the fights. I'm just a young little lion boy, and I'm just barely starting to grow my mane. I'm young, and I didn't want to fight, so I didn't fight. You remember that, right? Yeah, well, you didn't fight. Listen, this isn't a trick or anything. They don't know I'm here. I left them. I don't want to be a part of their group anymore. I don't like what they do. It's been a couple months since you guys have had the attack from those guys, but I promise I don't want to do what they're doing. And I actually came back because I was curious about your pride. What's your name, son? My name is Cassio. Okay, Cassio. Why should I trust what you're saying? I'm not trying to convince you of anything. I promise I've come peaceful, and I promise they don't know I'm here. And I left them because I said I don't like what they're doing. And I saw that your pride is different, and I thought, well... I am a male lion, but since your pride is different, I thought maybe you would take me in. Hmm. How do I know I can trust you? Normally, lion prides don't have more than one male, and, you know, that's obviously why I was kicked out when I was young. I started getting too old, but I... I want to be different, just like you. Your pride. Your pride's different. I... what if we break those norms? You've obviously started doing that. I I come in peace, and I, I promise I won't hurt you. I just would like a pride to be in. I miss it. Well, the kid's young. 
And I'm, I am a male lion, but I, I promise that I have more to give. I actually know some medicine. Medicine, you say? Yeah, I do know medicine. I don't know if anybody in your pride does. Maybe you do, but I was taught a little bit from my mother before I was kicked out. I'm not strong yet, and I'm not a good hunter at all, but right now I could bring to the pride is knowledge. I, I can teach you guys how to use medicine. Hmm. Well, that's very interesting. You really do want to break the social norms of a lion pride? You think that two male lions can come in peace with each other? Yeah, I, I really think so. I don't want to be like them. Hmm, okay. Come meet the rest of our pride. Hey guys, Cassio here. He said he comes in peace and he's looking for a pride to join. He's a young male lion, but he was talking about breaking the social norms of a lion pride and having more than one male in the pride. And we're not a lion pride, we're a different pride. We make our own rules. What do you guys think of this? Hey, he looks familiar. You're from that group of male lions, aren't you? Yeah, I am, but I promise I want to be different. I want to be different like you guys. He is still young. He's almost an adult, but we could teach him our ways. And he did not engage in any of the fights. He did not want to harm us. Well, I think we could give the little guy a chance. What if he hurts my cubs? Well, actually, Rika, he actually said that he knows some medicine. I think he could be really good use right now. Really? You know medicine, kid? Where'd you learn it? I learned it from my mother before I was kicked out of my lion pride. Right now, I'm not too big and I'm not too strong and I'm not a good hunter, but right now I can give to the pride knowledge and in the future I could help with hunting and protecting. Huh. Well... My cubs are sick, and I just had one pass away. Do you think you could look at them and see if you can help them? Yeah, if that's okay. Yeah, we really need help. You came at the perfect time. Is that okay, sir, if I go help? Yes, it is. And my name is Kier. You can call me Kier. Okay, Kier. Thank you. How long have they been sick? They were born in the middle of the night last night, and it was pretty cold, and one passed away this morning. Hmm, it was cold, They said, you said? Yeah, it was pretty nippy. And they were born in the night? Hmm. That sounds like pneumonia. They were wet when they were born, and it was really cold, and they got sick from the cold, probably. It might be hard to find some herbs right now to try to help, but I'll really go look for some to try to give them. And you're sure 100% you know what you're doing? Yeah, are they coughing and sneezing? Yes, frequently, and especially the one that passed away. Okay, I'm fairly certain it's pneumonia. I think I know what's happened to the cubs. They were born in the middle of the night when it was super cold and they were wet and they may have caught pneumonia. They're coughing, they're sneezing, and that's the symptoms they're having, so I think it's that. Um, I might need some help looking for some herbs. Can someone help me? Yeah, sure. I'll come help. I'll come too. Okay, I want to dig around and we're going to look for some roots. Because we might be able to give them some roots. How do we feed cubs that were just born? Yeah, they're not eating yet. Well, actually, a great way to do it is to give the mother the food, and in her milk, it should help change it, and it will hopefully help them fight off the disease even more. Hmm, okay. You better not be trying to poison Rika. No, no, no. I promise I'm not, and I'll even eat one to show that it's safe. Here, I pulled some roots out here, and I'll eat a few. Now that you know I'm not trying to poison your pride, can I go give this to Rika? Yes, you may. I'm back, ma'am. I've got some roots here, and the best way to heal your cubs is actually through your milk, and you can eat stuff to alter your milk. And I'll eat some right in front of you to prove that I'm not poisoning you. Now that you know I'm not poisoning you, try, try them yourself. Okay. 
okay, I ate them, now what? Now just drink lots of water, eat a lot of food, and that will make you produce more milk, and hopefully within a couple days, your cubs should start feeling better. Okay, thank you. What's your name? My name is Cassio. It's nice to meet you, Cassio. I hope what you're doing works. I do too. 